In the everlasting quest of improving our astro images, you might have stumbled across the term dithering. And even if you know what it is, actually applying the process can be a bit challenging. Let me tell you how to dither your images using astrophotography tool, PHD2 and your guide skill. The word dither or dithering can be translated to shaking. It's a noise reduction technique used while imaging in the night. This noise type is also known as Bayer noise or walking noise. Here's an example. Do you see the very small color noise that seems to flow into a certain direction across the whole image? It's caused by the Bayer pattern of the camera. If the same pixel is stacked on top of itself each time, the Bayer noise will come through. And the problem is you don't need a fancy rig to reach this level of accuracy in tracking. The direction of this noise corresponds with the movement of the object over the night, since I was not able to use auto-guiding. And even with auto-guiding, this problem would still be there. The solution is to move the target slightly between the exposures. This way, the noise will be reduced in stacking like any other type of noise. When an exposure is finished, PHG will slightly shift the position of the locked guide star, adjusting back to it, and therefore the entire image will move just a tiny bit. Just a few pixels, it's enough. Let's see how that's done in reality. Most astronomy softwares can handle dithering. And I will explain it using APT and PHT, because I think almost everyone is using these two softwares. First, you need to connect APT to PHT. In PHT, go to Tools and check Enable Server. Head over to APT, go to Gear and hover over Guide. You can read up quite a lot of information here, that's of course very helpful. Choose PHD2 as a guide program and enter the IP address and port number. Try out this address and port numbers. Or go to the PHD website. This video can be outdated by the time you're watching it. If everything worked out and the two softwares are running, a shift click on the guide button will connect the two. When starting the light plan, you will see the response in the log. These are the settings I recommend for a medium-sized setup. Longer focal lengths could need increased stability and timeout. The most important settings are Set auto dithering to on. This way APT will actually apply a dither in between exposures. Dither on values of 1 and 0 will result in dither after every image. A value of 3 will dither after 3 exposures. APT will wait until PHD has completed the process or until the timeout is reached. After that time, the next exposure will be started. The distance settings refers to pixels in the guide camera. If your target is really big or you want to preserve some detail at the edge, turn it down, at the risk of inducing more noise. Depending on your mount, the dither can take about 30 to 60 seconds. This is why you can set the number of dithers. If you are, for example, taking 10 second exposures on the Orion Nebula, a dither of 60 seconds in between each exposure will ruin your night. You can use the auto-cancel method, this way, if the guide graph gets too funky, the exposure will be cancelled. For example, when clouds roll in, or maybe vibrations disrupt your setup. Applying dithering between every single exposure will result in this. These images were dithered with a pixel value of, I think, 10 or 12, so quite large. But do you see, Andromeda Galaxy is moving in between every single exposure. Thank you for attending to the first astrophotography guide episode. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you want to support this channel, head over to my Patreon page, link in the description. Over there I share my imaging data for you to play around with. The next episode will be about back focus, since I got quite some comments on that one. Clear skies, it may the night be with us.